start summer with a $500 Visa gift card in your pocket. NC Machinery is offering big rewards on small excavators. Grab a cat mini excavator and demolish jobs. Dig deep or move material with the smallest line of cat products. Increase the value of your money by doing more with less. That's right. Small is big right now. Big rewards and big savings for your pockets. For a limited time, NC Machinery is offering a $500 Visa gift card as well as financing of 0% for 36 months for qualified buyers. Hard work pays off. Now is the time to reward yourself. Terms and conditions apply while supplies last. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out because your membership is packed with perks. For $1 down and $24.99 a month, you'll get perks like access to any of our 2,400 clean and spacious locations. Bring your friend anytime and both work out with tons of equipment that'll give you that big fitness energy. Relax in the Black Card Spa for a pampered perk and download the PF app for plenty more perks. Work out and perk out with the PF Black Card. Join for $1 down and $24.99 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Wednesday, June 14th. See Home Club for details. Hola, hola. It's your girl, Cheekies, and I'm back with brand new episodes of my podcast, Cheekies and Chill and Dear Cheekies. This season, I'll continue having open and honest conversations on everything from spirituality, relationships, women's health, and so much more. Y también seguiré compartiendo mi vida y mis pensamientos con ustedes. And don't forget, I'll also be answering your questions personalmente on episodes of Dear Cheekies. Así que acompáñame every Monday and Wednesday for new episodes of Cheekies and Chill and Dear Cheekies on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's awkward Tuesday phone call. I think a good sign of true love is when you're about to get married and you find yourself in a room Uh by yourself Uh calling a radio station, begging them to please help you. Oh, Oh, no. That's that's a, it's kind of a red flag, Jeff. You did that right before you walked down the aisle, right? You called your local radio show Jim Bob and Dipstick in the morning. Yeah. Or was it Soapy and Butt Biscuit? I can't remember. Dude, Butt Biscuit is so funny. So, oh, that's so the show good. where they just read off cattle names and then people call in to bid on it. And we'll never be able to compete yeah. with that Sometimes type of entertainment. Sometimes machinery, too, they auction off Uh-oh. on that show. Yeah. That was their number one segment. Yeah. But, you know, I bring it up because one of our listeners says he's looking to tie the knot and is hoping to get a little bit of advice. Oh, okay. His name is Tim. Tim, I'm just going to go out on a limb right off the bat without even hearing you and say, don't go through with it. What? Say that oh. marriage is wonderful. I love being married, Tim. Don't listen to him. Dipstick would have never given that That's advice. That's true, yeah. Tim. Welcome to the show, man. Hi, thank you. Um, <laughs> What's up, brother? You still, I mean, you still want to go through with it? I do. Okay. Good. good. That's great. When are you getting married? Uh, we got less than three months. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. So yeah. sometime. It's got a little, up. little while. Are you helping with planning a lot? I am, and that's kind of uh, what I wanted to talk about today. Okay. Okay. Um, for the past four months or so, one of our friends, her name is Jessica, she's been a scheduled bridesmaid. And when she first found out that she was going to be part of the wedding party, she yeah. was so happy. Aww. Mm-hmm. And she's a mutual friend of your guys's? It's, just, it's not just your fiancé's girlfriend? No, she actually started as my friend, and then uh, oh. I introduced her her to my fiance and they've gotten really close it's been really nice to see oh that's so that's cool. cool and she was happy to hear that she's a bridesmaid yeah she was so happy she was honored okay. she was really excited that's good because sometimes alexis finds out that she's going to be a bridesmaid <laughs> it's and it's like, like drama for an entire week <laughs> my friends yeah. listen i'm yeah. sorry <laughs> alexis loves it I, yeah. she's so loves, honored she yeah. never comes to work and says oh my no. god another yeah. wedding yeah. never <laughs> And, and she talks about how she wears the bridesmaids' dresses all the time, even into the office yeah. sometimes. Yeah. They're all colors I love. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You'll all See? wear them again. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that sounds good so far. Jessica's into being a bridesmaid. Yeah, she's been really helpful, too, and sweet to my fiancé, which just kind of makes all of this a little harder because the other day, um, someone who we originally thought wasn't going to be able to attend the wedding, she just came back and told us, that their plans change and oh yeah they can make it and it's okay. my fiance's little sister oh, oh that's awesome. okay oh my god her little sister wasn't gonna be at her sister's wedding that's i mean i'm glad that she's going she'd regret that yeah obviously i mean there was some big work event or something but okay her sister obviously needs to be one of her bridesmaids but that would bump our friend jessica out of the bridal party why can't? Uh, uh, nope, snooze, you lose. It was too late, right? 
<laughs> Why no. can't you just add another? Well, the numbers would be uneven, and it'd just be oh. uh, even more planning. Oh, okay. is that something that's really important to your? Okay. It's, um, right. you it's important to your future wife. No, for the photos. Yeah, you don't right. have you don't have another guy to add, or a cardboard cutout of a guy, yeah. or like, like also a dog. <laughs> a dog. Does everybody have a dog? You put a little tox. That's in there, actually really other, cute. That'd be cute. It works. We're problem solving for you. Look, we've been over so many different possibilities and options, but this is just the way it's got to be this is what we have to do okay. well look I, I know that my co-hosts want to change everything and plan your wedding for you <laughs> right. just trying to avoid the drama jeffrey well yeah. it's not our wedding okay it's what what his future wife says goes and we support you so yeah. now it, you what do you want to do with your bridesmaid jessica yeah so my fiance has been really stressed and i've been asked to deliver the news oh. instead of my fiance and because oh, you're wow. good friends with her, too. That kind of makes sense to me. It takes her out of it. But if it's the bridesmaid, it should yeah. feel like the bride should tell her bridesmaid, yeah. right? Yeah, and it was know. his friend first, but and if... the bride doesn't want to do it, Jeffrey. She, Duh. She doesn't like confrontation. Well, obviously. he doesn't want to do it either, so yeah. who's next down the line? Let's ask the best man to Let's do it. Let's have Brooke do it. Yeah. No, Brooke I am not do doing it. it. <laughs> I would tell her she's in. Yeah, it's not really a conversation that I want to have, but I would rather do it than add the stress to my future wife. And mm -hmm. I did know Jessica first before they became friends. So yeah, that's okay. what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. There's some good points there. Okay. I mean, point. honestly, maybe she'll be relieved. I, I thinking know that, you know, yeah. I know you said that she was really excited, but that's what everybody has to say when they're asked to be in a bridal party. Mm -hmm. It is true. Being a guest sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hear Alexis would be totally <laughs> yeah. relieved to hear this news maybe this isn't going to be as awkward as you think but i don't know i know she's going to be really disappointed i just know it and okay she's okay. been really great are we gonna like give her some like bad job like guest book or something <laughs> why is she gonna get put to work yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean that's what people do they're like well you didn't make the cut for bridesmaid but what do you feel about being the caterer yeah <laughs> okay well you can seat people on usher yeah. Tim, I, I can hear that you you're being very quiet you're probably nervous don't worry we're gonna come back with less evil advice uh, than that hope hopefully so. <laughs> and we'll continue and give you your awkward tuesday phone call right after this or just hang up now this is your chance bro tim you there Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. He's still there. Still, here. All right. still hanging on. He's a little nervous. <laughs> Hold on. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's awkward Tuesday phone call. No bride ever wants to tell one of their bridesmaids that they're being cut from the wedding party. Oh my God! Jeez. No. That's why you have a groom to do it for oh, you. Good point. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. It explains why Tim called in asking us for help today because he needs to tell their friend Jessica that she is being bumped from the bridal party. Ooh. And it is for a good reason, but it, that's a hard conversation to have with anyone. Yeah, sure. And Tim, I know that you sound pretty nervous about this, that this might not go well, but I've got 100% confidence that my two co-hosts, Brooke and Jose, uh -huh. will make this a lot worse. <laughs> I, uh, better. Sorry, better. Yeah. You may be right. I meant better. That's, that's totally I, what you meant, Jeff. I was saying my inner thoughts out loud. Uh -huh. You know, okay, Brooke, yeah. just tell us, what do you think okay. Tim should do here? Listen, Tim, your friend that you're bumping, you can't have her be mad at either of you because you want to retain your Agreed. friendship. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to blame your future in-laws. <laughs> okay. Listen, Brooke, is, Brooke is projecting her own relationship. <laughs> Relationship <laughs> onto this. Listen, a it's, it's all in laws. Okay, listen. Here's yeah. the deal. You tell her that the in laws, the future in laws, won't pay for the wedding unless the little sister is in it. It's not Whoa. your fault. It's not your fault. It's the parents' fault. Oh wow. my gosh, I kind of like that. that. Is devious. Well, sure, it's not like but... you're ever really going to like your in laws anyway. Wow. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, no. so that. brutal yeah. honesty <laughs> from Brooke Fox this morning. <laughs> Hopefully your in-laws aren't listening. But what if it gets uh, back to the in-laws? Exactly. Well, okay, Tim. Wow. Uh, yeah. What do you think what of you, that, What dude? do you think? I don't know if I'll go that route, but... <laughs> All right. That's why we have two opinions that oh, we like boy. to go to. Jose, do okay. you have anything All for right. it? Well, normally in these, I try to be positive or funny, but... This is probably the only time I'm going to tell you to do the exact opposite. What? Be serious and unfunny? Cry? You, you need to cry oh. your oh. eyes out, brother. Oh. Can you cry on no. command? She Women, will feel so bad. She won't. Wants that. Can no. you cry on command? Let mm -hmm. him answer. I do not. I'm not able to cry on command, no. Yeah. Oh, dude, do you want her to stay amazing. on the phone? Yeah, yeah. I thought you wanted to. No, then the... she'd hang up and he'd at least get the message I, out. If you want, I, friends. I can cry for you. Oh. And then <laughs> you can just talk in between my sobs. 
um, <laughs> cries in between our breaks anyway. I don't know. I think I'm I'm going to try and keep it kind of light. Okay. Right. Well, yeah, it's right. your funeral or wedding, yeah. whatever. So, uh, <laughs> I'll have my tears on standby just in case we need them, oh, but we're going to back no. away. We'll dial your friend Jessica and let you make your awkward Tuesday phone call. Let her know she's not going to be a bridesmaid anymore. Okay? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I end it on a sad note? I didn't mean to. It's yeah. Tim's issue. Yeah. But we're here for you, all right, bud? Yeah, spin it in a positive light, Tim, okay? Good luck. Right, you got this. Hello? Hey, Jessica? Can you hear me all right? Oh, Tim? Yeah, hey, what's up? S- sorry, I was just confused because, like, it, it was a different number. Uh, how are you? Uh, good, good. Um, just uh, got back from a little vacation. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm hanging out with my baby nephew right now. Oh, and that's my nice. My sister in law, yeah. That's good. Um, mm-hmm. Great. So, uh, you okay? Yeah, I I'm good. Yeah, I uh, actually just wanted to talk a bit about the wedding coming up. Uh, this is gonna be hard to say, but uh, there's Uh-oh. been kind of a slight change of plans, and wait. Um, don't tell me you guys are breaking up. No, no. Is the no, wedding off? No. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. But um, oh. yeah, right. Katie's Freak sister out. is uh, actually going to be in town for the wedding. And <laughs> that actually means... Uh, my, my bad, Tim. Who, who's in town? What'd you say? Sister. I was distracted by my nephew. Your, your baby sister? No, Katie's sister is going to be in oh. town for the wedding. Katie's sister. Of, yeah. I thought she bailed. I thought she had like some work thing. Yeah, <laughs> okay, she did, okay. but um, mm-hmm. she was able to get out of that. And um, yeah, I guess that means you're fired. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, yeah, sorry. There's just not enough room now in the, the bridal party for you. So. Um, Wait, you're joking, right? No, um, that's actually why I'm calling you to uh, to let you know that uh, Katie's sister is going to take the spot that you had. Got so, it. Uh, okay. Okay, then. Yeah. We love you. You've been such a huge help. You're so important to us. It's just, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. I know you were looking forward to being a bridesmaid. Um, uh, are you okay? Is this okay? I'll be honest with you, Tim. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I, 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 I really was not excited. Uh, this is, this is actually a great thing for me. What? what? Um, really? What? Yeah. Your fiance's mom is just, whew, she is just <laughs> Uh, like, oh my God! Um, Wait, what? What? What do you mean? She, okay, so like, I suggested that we go to Vegas for the bachelorette party, which isn't like a ridiculous idea. And she, she totally shut me down and was like, "What? What? What are we? What are we? Trailer trash prostitutes?" Um, and I'm uh, like, "Okay, oh, okay, that's um, a bit much, ma'am." Yeah, Jessica. Uh, we we don't need to say anything else. We're good. That it all makes sense. I mean, it's like she wants to go to Napa. Like, who goes to Napa for a bachelor party oh, and ride horses? Like, okay, uh, sorry, I didn't yeah, grow up riding yeah, I horses. Mean, I didn't have that kind of privilege, you know. She just yeah. We should uh, probably hang up. We could talk about this later. Um, I mean, let me tell you, I am. I'm gonna be praying for you, bro. I'm gonna be praying for you. Yeah, we get the point. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. This has been good. I don't mean to vent to you, obviously. I mean, I wouldn't have ever said this to you if I was still going to be a part of the party. So just like, don't, maybe in like 10 years. But anyway, don't, just don't repeat what I said, please. (laughs) I knew it! Hello? I hate to admit when Brooke's right. Tim, 
what the hell is going on? Oh, oh, oh. more Tim, than Tim can handle, uh, I can you, tell you that. You want to take this, buddy, or should I just let her know? Uh, <laughs> I could start you? crying. No, uh, <laughs> it's not gonna work. It's, out, yeah. it's no. awkward. No, no. Oh my God. you're not helping. Yeah. I think it did. What is going on? Yeah, you're you're on the radio right now, Jessica, yeah. with Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. This Hi. is a segment what? we do called an awkward Tuesday phone call. Uh, what? So, yeah. You yeah. just put me on the radio? Well, well, but it was funny. Super relatable. Yeah, yeah no. exactly. And Tim, listen. Why weren't you stopping me? Uh, I thought we were I tried. A you just kept talking. I was <laughs> <laughs> This is absurd. Okay, well, he was saying oh hang up. God. I bet he was praying we would hang up. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't Tim in his defense, he had no idea that you would react oh. so relieved yeah. when he told you that you weren't in the Dude, bridal party is anymore. Is a mother-in-law that much of a monster? I mean, that's let, let, that let is what I know. really I, want to uh, dish on, bro, Jeffrey. Why do you want to, like lay on okay, the look, mom more. Oh. God. Moms, moms are moms. You know they love their children. They <laughs> yes. want the best for their children. You know, even even Tim, 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 your mom could be a lot too. You know oh. what I mean? Like, what your mom are you doing? What? Moms are moms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tim, you get it. You can't be mad at her. You know, like you have to see the same thing at some point if you're being honest. Yeah, Tim, do you hate your mom? <laughs> I don't want to talk about this on the radio. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Very smart. Okay, yeah. Like the old mom listens to this show. Come on. She won't hear it. If <laughs> anybody listens to radio, it's old people. So <laughs> I'd be oh, a little bit worried. God. Well, people are listening on podcasts. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tim, are you worried about your mother-in-law? Yeah, a little bit here. He should be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just double down. Uh, yeah, I feel like maybe we shouldn't pile on to the moms anymore. But it's like, why does a mother-in-law have any say in what happens at a bachelorette yeah. party? Like, I she mean, probably feels like she does. Know your role. Okay. Well, I like, agree. Again, this is not our wedding. Okay. Well, we, we can't, I have we can't some be thoughts. Yeah, people we, can, we can take our thoughts off there. Yeah, but. I think we, we save all these thoughts for when we're not on the radio broadcasting to millions of people. Time, yes. So, yes. When we're in Fine. Vegas with all the other trailers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know? Go to Vegas, That's guys. my comfort zone. <laughs> sure. Hey, she said it, not me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. I know. Tim, you doing okay? Do you? F- I know this call didn't go quite the way anybody was expecting. Yeah. I'm glad the deed is done, but I feel like I just need to keep everyone away from the radio for a while. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the podcast. Yeah, by and the our way. podcast, which yeah. you can find online at Brooke and Jeffrey. Yes. Ooh, and all our social media. I would just oh. cut the Wi-Fi to her house for oh. the next like yeah. three years. <laughs> just play it safe. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Insight School of Washington is open to all Washington State residents, grades K through 12. We have a personalized approach to education. Whether it's college credits with dual enrollment, career readiness and certifications, credit recovery, or just the ease of flexibility, we will accommodate your family's needs. The 23-24 school year enrollment is open now. Go to k12.com slash iswa. That's k12.com slash iswa to find out more. Whatever support you and your student might need, our teachers are committed to helping your family succeed with flexible online learning. At Insight School of Washington, your child can learn in the ways that are right for them, at home, on the road, or wherever there's an internet connection. We've been around a long time, successfully schooling online for over 10 years. Tuition free. Enroll or get more information today at k12.com slash iswa. We'd love to welcome your family to the Insight School of Washington community.